everyone. My name is Tyler Burnett. I will be training you from the BCU CPTR on the red cap uh, using annotations topic today. So using annotations um, comes in when you have a project and when you're an online designer, building out your forms. Um, let me open one of these uh, basic uh, demographics forms and show you where you can get to the field annotations. So let's edit the uh, first name field of this. And field annotations will show up on the edit field list right here down at the bottom. Uh, field annota annotation is not shown um, during your project when you're filling out anything um, from the end user standpoint. It's more for bookkeeping uh, project field structure um, as metadata about the field given or the given field uh, just for reference purposes. Um, say you want to make this field uh, first name, go to some type of standard, um, CDIS, um, S NOMAD, um, LO, INC. Um, it's whatever you want to make the standard. Um, it's not enforcing the standard. It's just showing that this field will be used to this standard. So we can just type in um, in the field annotation, we will be using XYZ standard. Um, as it shows down at the bottom, it says explanatory notes not displayed on any page. It's just showed for the researchers to know what this field is supposed to be going for. Along with field annotations, we have action tags. Um, I'm going to click to learn about action tags. This will give you a little bit more about what they are, more so what I will be getting at. Um, but an action tag has different functionality. You can hide fields from the users. Um, you can hide them if they're in a form, if they're in a survey. You can hide them if you don't want them to show up in a mobile app. You can make the fields for read only. Um, and all these different um, action tags right here you can use. You can use multiple action tags um, at the same time. Say you want to have a, um, a read-only action tag, and you want to put um, the timestamp, say, now on there. Um, yes, I know it's for first name, but just for demonstrations, I put the now and read-only on there. Let me show you exactly what that does. I'm going to add a new record so I can treat. The read-only tab will make it so the field is disabled to the user, and it will also show what else you want in there. So as I have the now feature, it gives the current timestamp of when the form was opened, 12-9-2015 at 10.38 a.m. Let me show you a few of the other different uh, tabs that are available. I delete this. And go to the annotations example page. So read only tab, as I shown below, um, it is basically a read only tab. You cannot edit any data in there. You cannot add any data um, or anything like that. The latitude tag will give you the current latitude of the user. Now, since this is a not a read only tab can actually delete the data in there or or update it. Same thing with longitude. It's going to give the, the user that's filling out the form the longitude. Um, a password mask is similar to when you type in a password, it's going to show asterisks um, in the field. However, use caution with this. Um, if you want to enter passwords, because when you actually do a data export, that password is not masked. Um, so it's just masked on the end user side, so then you can't see what you're entering, but on the 
data side, the data is actually there. <coughs> yes. um, the action tag now gives you the current timestamp, and the action tag today will give today's date. Um, let me show you a few other ones. A barcode app um, allows you to scan a barcode using the RedCap mobile app only. Um, this will not do it for anybody using like a PC or a Mac to do it. It's just through the RedCap mobile app. So you scan a barcode and it will capture that data in that field. Read only app is only if you want the um, field to be read only only in the mobile application. Same thing with survey. You only want the that field to be read only in the survey mode or with a form. Um, if you want to make the field read only for all forms, all surveys and in the mobile app, just use the read only action tag. Same thing with hidden. Hidden hides that field from the user. Um, it, it can be used with branching logic for some reason you want to just hide that field, um, but don't actually want to delete it. Um, there is, you can use it in forms, surveys, and in the app. Is there any questions so far? Okay. So you can, like I said, you can use action tags multiple at a time. Say you want to get latitude and the longitude um, of the participant, you can hit add for both of those, and it'll add it to the field. You go down and hit close, and you can hit save. I give it a name. I put a comma in there, that's why it's not showing, but it will give you the latitude and longitude. Um, let's see. Let me make one of these read only for like latitude so you can show what that does. Simply that it's a read-only field, but it is actually capturing the latitude information from you. Any questions, or would you like to see any different examples? Okay, well, if there's no questions, I will go ahead and end this session. This was a quick one. Um, if there's any more questions about this, you can always ask the CCTR here at BCU uh, by submitting a request or emailing um, the REDCap team. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in, at the next training session. Thank you.